Hello Palmetto's finest gamers and curious onlookers. Today I will be updating a previous volts tutorial that I did on the centrifuge and uranium. Now I am I am in the most updated version of volts, so a lot of things have changed, including the centrifuge and uranium. So let's get right to it. My newly constructed home that will soon be completely radioactified. Well, that was contaminated. That's a better word. All right, so in order to process uranium to get a, fi a fizzle cell, it's not fission anymore, or fusion, fission, yeah, there we go. You're going to need three machines, a chemical extractor, a nuclear boiler, and your good old centrifuge. Now I'm going to flash the recipes real quick. Let me get back into good old mode. All right, now you're going to need a hazmat suit for this before I start off because everything here is radioactive. So to build a chemical extractor, the recipe goes as follows. Four bronze, two steel plates, two centrifuges, and an elite circuit to build centrifuges, just like so. Four bronze, two steel, two motors, and an advanced circuit. And then the nuclear boiler recipe is not showing up right now, but I'm sure you can find that somewhere online. I'll, I'll research it right after this video and give you a recipe flashing on screen while I'm talking about it right now. But let's get right to the process. Now, you will have to power the chemical extractor and nuclear boiler with water. You can do this with water cells and or buckets of water. Doesn't really matter but you need to put your uranite inside the chemical extractor. All these machines have to be powered. Just so you know that every single one is hooked up to my grid over here. But as soon as you put your uranite in the chemical extractor, it takes no time at all, about 20 seconds or so, for your uranite to be produced into three yellow cake. Now from the yellow cake, you put that inside your chemical boiler, like so. And then this is produced into uranium hexafluoride. Now, if you produce or if you put your nuclear boiler right next to your centrifuge, the uranium hexafluoride will go right into the centrifuge's gauge right here, which will in turn produce uranium-235 and uranium-238. See, right now it's processing because it has some uranium hexafluoride in the tanks. Once we do that, I will let this go for a couple minutes. I'll see you guys soon once this process is done. All right, guys, back again, and the centrifuge centrifuge can not get that out is just about done with its first process now this has taken about a thousand seconds I would say just like the old centrifuge and from this centrifuge one process that takes quite a while gives you one uranium 235 you will occasionally get uranium 238 but for this tutorial you will only need uranium 235 so I'm just going to give myself two more of these and when you go to your crafting bench and you have empty cells to make an empty cell you need four tin ingots like so then when you put your empty cells like this and your three uranium 235s like this you get a fizzle fuel rod now just like a uranium cell you can go put this in your your fission reactor and then it will start producing power just like good old times i haven't used this guy in a while he's he's got his cobwebs but you'll see in a second it starts spinning up just like it did before and that's how you do uranium now with the new uranium ore now I will be making a couple more tutorials just updating some of my previous ones that are now outdated because of what the update has done. But just to recap, chemical extractor, you put in your uranium ore, that makes your yellow cake. You put your yellow cake in your nuclear boiler and this gives you uranium hexafluoride which fills up this tank. You want to place your centrifuge adjacent to your nuclear boiler which will transfer the uranium hexafluoride to the centrifuge which will then in turn produce uranium-235 and uranium-238 which will in turn be used to make a fizzle rod which can be used to produce power in your fission reactor well thank you guys very much for watching this video i wouldn't have made this if you guys didn't tell me to so thank you very much for the interaction i appreciate it all if you want to see any more volt tutorials make sure to let me know in the comments below i'm exterminator d and i'm from the sc gamers and i am using my intro by accident <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Volts tutorials like this one. I'll see you guys soon.